A very good evening to our respected MCHI members and esteemed guests. I am Jay Mehta and welcome to Credi MCHI Red Talks. It's an honor and privilege to be standing in front of such reputed and credible people from our industry. Uh, before we start a program, we would like to invite Mr. Vishal Dave from Asian Paints for a quick uh, presentation, please. Yeah, hi all, uh, Michelle Devi here. I handle projects in Mumbai from Asian Paints, House of Asian Paints. Uh, I handle the kitchen division, project division. I have my colleague Pawan Raija who handles the CP Sanitary Bar division. Uh, gives an honor to speak in such a big and huge crowd and a big dignitary. Uh, so, uh, you know, through the journey quickly, not taking too much time. Uh, about Asian Paints, everybody knows it's more than an 80 year old company and uh, has now fallen into many other verticals divisions in the home improvement segment. So we also come up with uh, sleek kitchens and uh, CP sanitary bath fitting. They fallen into this vertical since 2014. They took over the bath division. Uh, it's, it's a part of uh, SS group which got split with Jaguar and at the same time 2014 they took over sleek kitchens also. So it's been a long journey and we moved ahead and we're doing good projects with a lot of you and uh, we we'll look forward to again, you know, uh, connecting you in the business via the title sponsor next month and uh, presenting to you all the verticals of Asian Paints. So, so basically Asian Paints now is a one-stop solution and has different verticals in kitchen solutions, bath solutions, waterproofing, flooring, sanit sanitization, painting, repair and admixtures. <coughs> So, something about bath fittings, we have ranges to cater to all your needs in all of your projects, different segments and categories of projects. We have a manufacturing unit at Bhakti, Himachal Pradesh and we would like to invite you, you know, for a factory visit and we have been ta taking few of you already over there. So, we have in terms of all the ranges and faucets, you know, the bath area, the sanity area, uh, water closet, showers, <coughs> right? So, this is our brand, this is our mother brand bath set. And uh, not only this, we also have premium ranges uh, to cater to your, you know, different projects. Uh, Royal, like Royal, you must be aware of name in Pace. We have the same, you know, premium range in bath fittings also. Apart from that, uh, the designs, the quality, the finish, we have announced testing labs is top notch up to the mark. And uh, you know, when I visit builders, they say we don't know you. You're not a known brand. And you know the X Y Z of the brand we have, has been specified. So I always tell them that we also will be known with you in, in years to come. You just, it's a matter of time that you give us an opportunity to you know, at least have us in the consideration set. Let us pitch in. Obviously, we are sure that uh, we will satisfy you in terms of the quality, finish, pricing, everything. Because we are from the umbrella of Asian Paints, right? So yeah, So we have a huge range. Right, and uh, we have also come up with colored ranges. Uh, it's called canvas. Uh, these are the ranges, and uh, the best part is that this also comes with a hydrophobic coating, uh, the lotus effect, where you will not see scaling. So I will not go too much deep into presentation. We would uh, wish to have a chance with you face to face in your offices and your teams, where we could give a detailed presentation, technical presentation. Uh, this is the lotus effect, and uh, in terms of Finished quality, this is top notch. Uh, you could see the video outside. So, uh, for example, if the water drops on this, you will not see scaling on it. It will drop down. It comes with a hydrophobic coating. Yeah. Thanks. Excellent. So, again, in terms of uh, the whole range, we are there with the CP and the sanitary also. So, different kind of flushes, different you know sizes. Uh, to cater to your uh, project requirements. 
uh, in terms of after sales service we are uh, you would ask everybody is giving after sales and warranty uh, what we are different from other people and what is our usp is uh, we give a 10 year warranty on some of the uh, ranges and some of the ranges we give 12 years and in the canvas range we also go up, go up to 25 years uh, and what difference we are uh, in terms of warranty against other people is we give a warranty not only for uh, service we also give warranty for spares so even in the ninth year if something goes wrong we will replace it with a question ask without question ask and we are a iso 9001 company we have our own in house service team so any any uh, all regarding service uh, it will be attended in 48 hours uh, so that was the end of bath presentation a short sleep presentation you must be aware about about sleep kitchens also we used in many of your projects uh, so legacy goes back to 30 years around more than 25 years uh, we are the number one player in the organized sector in the kitchen industry you know I, I i used to joke earlier when i used to go and meet builders and we are the jaguar of indian kitchens i should say now we are the asian base of asian asian base of indian kitchens right because we are also into that bath fitting segment so more than 10000 kitchens installed annually we have our own manufacturing unit and pune and a new leave will be opened in wada also uh, more than 50 kitchen showrooms across india more than 500 dealers in across india so uh, you name it and we are there in that part of the city in kitchens so in terms of core uh, core material we have all the options uh, we have BWR, you, you name it and we have it. Uh, BWR, HDF, HDHMR, MDF, everything. In terms of finish, on next. Again, we are there with uh, your lowest to the highest range of back painted toughened glass kitchens, acrylic, PU. We have our own plant. We have an unmanned PU paint line in India. The ones that you see in you know, uh, your car companies. Again, Kitchen in projects is not only manufacturing, supplying, it's also installation. So that those capabilities we have are in our team to cater to you, your, your large requirements in terms of installations. Like in, I remember in, during COVID times for a Godres project in Injiwadi Pune, we completed 550 kitchens with 40 labels at one time at the site, which you will not find uh, quite common in this kind of industry, in the kitchen industry. So in terms of adherences, in terms of all the SOPs, we are compliant, like you know. So we work with all kinds of builders, top to middle level, low level, everybody we catered to. <coughs> yeah. So warranty service. If we again like the bath uh, division, we have our in-house team. Uh, our production capability, we have around three and a half lakh panel cutting uh, capacity in a month, which translates to roughly two thousand kitchens a month. Uh, we, apart from the Pune plant, we are really, as I said earlier, we will be opening our new plant at Bada uh, by August. So that will translate into 3 and a half to 4 lakh square feet. That's pretty huge. Uh, again, like uh, very uncommon for industrial city to have an in-house testing lab, which we have at our plant. <coughs> again, like the way we differentiate our, uh, you know, ourselves between the regional place and the European places, European places obviously the brand recognition sleek is there and you know many builders want to tie up with us uh, as a usp to sell their projects you know be a partner again we have our in-house design team in our supervision team uh, we also offer customized solutions you know, from your standard project kitchens in mass projects <coughs> of 500 kitchens to customize uh, you know kitchens say in bandra you want a high-end kitchen we, we have done those also uh, so again, quality assurance goes without saying. After sales service, obviously, these are all the USPs, sleek and bath. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. We would also like to thank our uh, partners, KNEST. KNEST is one of the world's largest aluminium formwork companies, uh, and it is the highest market shareholder in India. The objective of the company is to discourage centralization and bring stability in pricing. The vision of the company is to help builders develop faster and incorporate sustainability through quality form work. KNST has also signed the wall with Rahul Dravid because they believe that the best for the best wall, you need the best form work. Uh, 
Uh, now, uh, we will also uh, we would, uh, request uh, Mr. Hiranandani and uh, Mr. Romel to please come and felicitate uh, a few of our candidates who have completed the certification course in real estate management. Lakshman Gaure. A round of applause, please. Thank you. So please, uh, you can have this. Thank you. Uh, we would also like to thank our preferred partners, Dorset Industries Private Limited and esteemed knowledge partners, Eco Venture Private Limited for all your environmental consultancy services. So please, sorry, now see. Sorry, sorry. sorry sir. He's still on his list. I think that's complete now. Um, okay, so now as we have already witnessed, the Youth Wing Committee is striving to enlighten our members on diverse topics and business personalities both within and outside the real estate industry. Our last session with Sri Ajoy Mehta, Chairman of Maharera, gave us an insight into the current scenario of real estate and its future with Rera. Today, we have an even more exciting session with one of the most enigmatic and dynamic visionaries within the fraternity, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandana. Mr. Hiranandani, as most of us already know, is a pioneer in the field of real estate development and has been in the industry for over four decades. His ability to overcome obstacles and take everything in his stride is what sets him apart and makes him a leader in the shifting arena of real estate. Whether it's in matters related to government rules or facing the many difficulties of the development business, Mr. Hiranandani has proven to remain true to his uh, conscience. Under Mr. Hiranandani's visionary leadership, the Hiranandani Group has spearheaded iconic projects that have redefined urban living in India. From luxury residential townships to state-of-the-art commercial spaces, the group's developments have set new benchmarks in design, sustainability and community living. This man has set the bar so high that we often tend to say, I'm going to Hiranandani instead of saying Pawai. I'm sure many of us sitting over here have experienced the same. Uh, in recognition of his outstanding contributions, Mr. Hiranandani has received numerous honours and accolades. He has been one of the founding past presidents of MCHI Credi and past president of Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry and is currently the vice chairman of Naredco. He has also been conferred with prestigious awards such as the Lifetime Achievement Award for Excellence in Real Estate and has been recognized as one of the top 100 most powerful people in India by India Today. But, today, but beyond the titles and achievements, what truly sets Mr. Hiranandani apart is his steady commitment to his values, his ability to envision the future and his unwavering determination to make a difference. His passion for excellence, his innovative thinking, and his compassionate heart have made him an inspiration to aspiring entrepreneurs and change makers worldwide. So now, it is my great pleasure to call upon stage Mr. Niranjan Hiranandani, a visionary leader, a true humanitarian, and an embodiment of the mission statement, Building Better Communities. Please join me in giving a warm round of applause.
you, Dominic. Thank it's you. always a great time to be with you and uh, the entire Credi team and his uh, partner to uh, actually start Credi. So it was, uh, it's been a great journey, that experience that has been there, and certainly look forward to all the relationships uh, to do it. I'm always confused when I come to meetings like this as to what really should I say, because uh, uh, the roller coaster life of mine has been so interesting that you know one could talk about stories after stories, and uh, it's extremely difficult to really uh, start where to start really. So uh, first of all, just to tell you all that I come, I'm a first generation businessman. Uh, my father was a doctor, Padma Bhushan, uh, EAT specialist of great repute, uh, Danwantri award winner, uh, one of the best surgeons in India in terms of ENT, did 80% of his work free in terms of Naya Hospital, Bombay Hospital, all the other government hospitals also. He did research in cancer and did uh, operative work in the head and neck region as one of the first ENT surgeons here which do it. So it was very difficult getting into real estate. So I, my elder brother was a doctor and I got into commerce. And when we got into real estate, people looked down upon us. You know, we were like Haji Mastan and Yusuf Patel and all the rest of it and all Uskwe. So it was extremely difficult to really, when we did the starting part of it, and there were no corporates dared to get into real estate at that point of time. Because the reputation of the industry was such. When I first uh, did, that time Credit didn't exist, there was MCHI. And uh, I went to a minister to ask for an appointment. And when we took the appointment, he said, Niranjan Hiran Nani Ha, I to Pechanta Makko, they told his PA, don't write his name in my diary. Because his father is a very good man, but he is now in the builder. So that was the kind of reputation when we really, when we got into the industry and all that. And uh, certainly companies like Tata Housing and Godrej and Great Eastern and all these things didn't even dare to come into the industry. Because the reputation of the industry was such that it was connected with people who didn't have ethical values. I'll also share one more story. I went to pick up my father at the airport and I'm talking about uh, my father died at 96, seven years ago and when I was uh, probably in school or col early college, I went to the airport to pick him up at the airport. And uh, as uh, my father was coming in, there was a havalda with half pants. And uh, uh, he went and put his head on my father's shoes and put his head and touched his uh, feet and uh, Everybody was wondering what happened. This Havaldar is, you know, not just touching the feet, but actually went down and touched the feet. The story goes as forward that my father was uh, in uh, Nair Hospital and up bed sucking a kipiche no kade nisakle. A kursi lelo. So, so the, uh, the the entire thing at Nair Hospital, it seems my father finished three surgeries of cancer and others in our hospital, he was walking down the stairs. This person was picked up a child and was going up to the theater, the RMO up there. And my father saw this ch child and he said that, uh, uh, what's happened? He's totally blushed. So he said, uh, my father was very senior, so he would do big operations in our hospital, not these small cases which were coming in. My father saw the child, went back to the theater, and of course looked after the child and went away. So he didn't meet the ch anybody. And this, uh, the registrar told him, but for Dr. Hiranandani coming back, your child would have been no more because we had misdiagnosed the case and he came in and saved the life of the child. So what happened is I was used to an atmosphere where there were only ethical values and people looked up to our family member. Hiranandani means Dr. Hiranandani's son. Huh? One of the things which always came to my mind is that how is it that in real estate we are also going to get into that equal measure of having ethical values that we needed to do. And uh, there's a lot of other issues that we really have to deal with all the time. But uh, that apart, our commitment at the end of the day needs to be done. What I wanted to share with you is 
that if we work towards this kind of ethical values that we do, you cannot not succeed. You may lose in one project. You may lose in two projects. You may have a failure in something that you do. And if there's anybody in life who has worked for 30, 40 years in a line, and he says he has not failed, or he's not made a mistake, or he's not gone wrong, or he's not had a problem, he's a liar. Okay? So don't ever believe uh, anybody who tells you that story. And I'm th one of the proofs. I've had at least 30 setbacks, some of them which really killed me, uh, things which were impossible to overcome. But fortunately, uh, we were able to overcome that. We're not going to talk about short stories, sad stories, and things like that. One of the other things which uh, three, four of you just asked me what you wanted to do is how did you think of Pawai? You know, and uh, that seems to be common in the whole thing is there. I had an opportunity to uh, build 11 buildings in Lokanwala complex. And uh, I bought one plot, built it, sold it, went to the next plot, bought it, built it, went to the third plot. Like that, I built 11 plots over there. But every time I finished a building, I was very happy with the buildings that I made over there. But when I looked out, the roads were bad. No street lights, no stormwater drain, no water supply, no sewerage line. And there were 350 buildings being made in Lokanwala complex, 225 being made by Mr. Lokanwala himself. And Raste par Kuchni. So I formed an association where I became the secretary, Mr. Lokanwala became the president, and Mr. Walavalkar, who was the owner of the land, was the chairman. And I formed an association and I built the whole infrastructure and I charged everybody four rupees a foot, one FSI. <laughs> four rupees a foot. I found it difficult to collect money in order to do it, but we made roads, we made the street lights, we did the stormwater drain, we got the water supply from the main Char Banglo area, we created the gardens in that area, and we completed that local water complex. But I realized one thing, this is impossible to do. I want to do something where jo bhi main cheez banaunga, kam banaunga, jada banaunga, par main khud sab banana chahta So I went and saw Pawai, which had no excess. It was a quarry land, there were lots of issues, there was urban land city, there were a lot of other problems. And all I went and saw the land, it was only 250 acres, and I didn't have the money. I just had 5 lakhs of rupees, which I gave to the owner, and I said that, and we were working on a default payment, but because it, he was in trouble because of uh, the ceiling and other action, I was able to do it. And I dreamt that I want to make whatever I make in this project, I will uh, make it so that everything there is made by me. I was young, I was foolish, and uh, so obviously, you know, you do foolish things when you are young, and I took up this whole thing, you know. And I, I went over there and we saw that. At that time, there was a two-lane access road by uh, Saki Bihar Road, and that's all. No other road, JV Link Road, the Kakkopa Road, nothing. IIT was there. And in between, there was uh, no that. But I took over the plot, and there was a well there, and I wanted to put a pump over there. I found out that area has no three-phase power also. So, <laughs> so it was like as lonely as uh, that part of it. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so I took up this particular thing. Uh, the rest is history, but what happened is that uh, we made the first concrete roads in a private layout in Mumbai. We did ducted uh, things for the purposes of telephone cables and other things which were there at that time. Uh, we created the first uh, sewage treating treatment plant in India in a private layout, which was 4 million liters per day recycled water 30 years ago, when nobody did that at all. Uh, my father told me that you must build a school when you make money. I foolishly started next month, and uh, I borrowed money at 2% per month and built that school. And uh, uh, we uh, uh, built the hospital later on. Uh, we did the gardens, we built all the, everything that is in Pawai uh, from this entire 250 acres is done by me. So very happy to do it. We did IT, uh, people said IT cannot work in Pawai, uh, commercial will not work in Pawai. 
towers will not work in Pawai. Uh, everything cannot work in Pawai. That is what the, you know everybody believed. I disbelieved everybody. Unfortunately, you know everything did fall into place over a period of time. I lost money in some of my earlier buildings because we made beautiful buildings and people wouldn't believe me. So one of the buildings, uh, Lake Castle, which won several international uh, architectural awards, <laughs> which were there, uh, we sold it with great difficulty over a period of three years at the rate of 1,000 rupees a foot. Uh, it's now the resale plan in that building is only 44,000 rupees a foot. <laughs> if I had kept four flats in that building and not sold it, I would have made more money in four flats than the entire building <laughs> and complex that I had to do. So I was foolish, but anyway, that's how foolhardy that Niranjan Hiranitani is. So we did all that and we continued to do the development on it. We also took up the retail side of the whole thing. I set up the first supermarket in Mumbai, our own Haiko. Uh, the hospital, we run the school, we run the hospital, we run the supermarket, we run the, the, the sewage recycling plant, we run the roads, we clean the roads, we do all that. To such an extent, there's a funny story that uh, we clean the stormwater drains before the monsoon. So in one year, somebody told me that uh, corporation tender nikala hai, mujhe jithe, uh, cleaning ka tender mila hai. Lekin wo log bolte hai, wo aap hi karte hai. So last five years, I used to do the cleaning. Municipality used to take the tender, and they used to take 100% from the uh, contractor back. You know, so that's that's how the whole thing was there. <laughs> so uh, it's okay. I mean, you know, these are the type of things that you actually face when you do that. So that's really the story of Pawai. And then they said, you know, you were very lucky to get Pawai because you know the city grew, and then Pawai became the center of gravity. So I said, yes, that is correct. Bawai did grow to center of gravity. Then I said, Chalo, apne ko kuch aur challenge lena hai. So I went to Thane Goldpanda Road. It was a two-lane road when I bought the plot. And uh, Bawai is 250 acres. This was 350 acres. I bought plot by plot by plot. Paisi nahi the. So dhire 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 karke usko accumulate kiya. And collected and made 350 acres of it. And I, whatever mistakes I had made in Pawai, I didn't make, like 60 feet roads, because those days there were no cars coming to Pawai. I mean, those are 120 feet roads, uh, but I, uh, here we did small uh, uh, commercial, you know, foot plates and others. There we did big foot plates, so we got uh, TCS who bought two and a half million square feet, one client uh, uh, to work with us and uh, stuff like that. And everybody said, you know, oh, Goldbandha Road. And at that time, only Brahmand and we were working there at that time. Yes. You were not uh, operating at that time in, on Goldbandha Road. And today, there are only 42 renowned builders, including Puranix, uh, over there on that one road. And we were just two of us who started on that road. So when we took up Thane, there was belief that, you know, Goldbandha Road was going to go. And it used to take us one and a half hours to reach the railway station from Hiranandani estate. And uh, at that point of time, when I took the plot and all that, now it takes one hour, 20 minutes to come to South Mumbai with the Eastern Freeway and the other part of it. The whole thing has completely changed. But there are 42 builders to give competition to whatever we have done. So it moved up the very line. So in many ways, what happened is that, and now I'm doing Panvel, uh, incidentally, that's only 450 acres where we've done that. And my challenge is, you know, how do we really take it to that next level of uh, the thing and what we did. And uh, just to share with you, we have uh, built uh, uh, Asia's largest tier four, which is the highest rated data center in Asia, uh, in, in uh, Panvel. And it's one of the most beautiful data centers in the world. You know, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's built by my son, Darshan. Uh, I take credit for it because I'm his pop. That's all. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Darshan, incidentally, has also built the second tallest residential tower in the world in Dubai, uh, called the 23 Marina. And he only occupies 30,000 square feet of the penthouse of that. So. Yeah. So it is, you know, both them, so all that in the next generation, which uh, really wants to do what it wants to do. 
the question is that uh, how do you really take the next challenge and how do you up the ante in terms of it? You have to actually take a goal and you have to actually believe that that is there. So you have to vision out what you really want to achieve and then do it. Of course, the pragmatism of uh, the market, the, the availability of capital, the availability of finance, the availability of permissions, the availability of the situation, all that is, of course, going to be always a challenge in terms of it. Again, there are some simple ideas that I have in my mind, and I'm going to share a couple of ideas of what I think is really things that really need to do, and what I did possibly correct in terms of what it is there. You can you know, assess it yourself in terms of how it's applicable to you. Well, one thing I sincerely believe, We can, each one of us, improve 1%. Can you improve 1%? Everyone can improve 1%. So, you make a practice that every day I will improve only 1%. Whatever I do, if I make a building, if I make a speech, if I write a note, if I make love, anything that you do, can I improve myself 1%? So that every time you do something, it is there. So there is a story. My first buildings, Eden in Clay, there was a person who came there. And he was so happy when I first gave him possession of that building. Hey, Ranandani ji, kya building aapne banaya hai? Ito badiya banaya hai. Hawaii mein, makaan mein, samjha ye flat kaise hoga? But your flat is very big and all that stuff. Fast forward 10 years, I meet him again. Hira Nandani, I'm very proud of you. What did you write in the flat? 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 मैंने आपका नया मकान देखा और मेरे मकान से कितना अच्छा है वो दस साल पहले मैंने खरीदा था वन थर्ड भाव में वन फोर्थ भाव में अभी हमने चार गुना भाव में खरीदा है वो बेचा है और वो बोल रहा है कि दस साल पहले आपने क्यों अच्छा नहीं माना मैंने बोला देखिए शांति रखो वो जो आज खरीदा है ना वो भी नाराज हो जाने वाला है क्योंकि दस साल के बाद में जो मैं मकान बनाऊंगा ना वो उससे अच्छा ही होगा क्योंकि मुझे पीछे नहीं जाना है मेरे जिंदगी में आई डोंट वांट टू गो बैक सो इफ यू ऑल हैव हर्ड मी स्पीक लास्ट टाइम एंड इफ आई डोंट स्पीक बेटर टुडे देन आई स्पोक लास्ट टाइम आई वांट बी यू मे बी हैप्पी एंड हैप्पी आई डोंट केयर आई विल बी अनहैप्पी विद माय सेल्फ सो आई मस्ट इंप्रूव माय सेल्फ एंड से that Niranjan, have you done a better job in making a speech today or have you not? So if you see my uh, on uh, Facebook or uh, uh, TED Talk, the TED Talk I did five years ago and that the one which I did last year, it has to be better. Because I must make a better delivery than what I did the previous time. So the idea basically being, how do you actually qualify yourself and improve yourself? Because the world is going to move forward. Then you are stuck here. Many times people say, Niranjan, you were always an average intellect person. I was, <coughs> honestly so. I know you don't believe it, but it's nice you don't believe it. I was an ordinary intellect person. Well, what did I do with my ordinary intellect? I said, I will keep on improving. Dusre log, bhoat hamare se jyada chalak hai. Lekin wo kya bolte hai, ki mein chalak hoon. Is se jyada achha kohi bhi nahi kar sakta. And I always believe, that if I want to learn from Puranik, or I want to learn from anybody else, it doesn't matter. I will come to you, and I will learn from you, and I will see you, and I will improve whatever I want to do. Last weekend, my friend showed me his pro two projects in Warsaw, 
and all. I went to both of them. So I said, this is fantastic. This is not thing. I also learned what the work he has done over there. So, I also want to improve. So, what happens, those people who are brilliant today, they don't want to improve. They that I am I am brilliant, I am very intelligent. And that's the failure in life. Because somebody or the other is always going to improve copy you mar pas ek ya kahan se aata hai wo jaipur ke kahan se aata he comes and meets me once in a while he comes and sees me and all that wo bolta hai ki wo jab bhi main naya project ya building start karta hu na to main pawai aur thana mein pura round karta hu jo bhi aapke acche hai na main architect ko leke aata hu picture leta hu photograph leta hu aur usko ja ke main copy karke aata hu what does it mean that whatever you make is going to be copied. But because you are good, I am happy. You know, if you are good, then you will copy. If you are bad, then you will copy. So internally I am happy. But my people are not happy. Look, they copied it. Look, what did they do? I said, you are good, that's why they copied it. If you are not good, then you don't have to copy it. There is no need to copy it. Why should somebody bother to copy you if you are not good? So, if you are good, you will be copied, which means that somebody will become better than you. <laughs> so basically what happens is that unless we don't do it, and that's why it's important to learn what my father did, that at 83 also he went to Germany to learn a new operation. So at the age of 83, my father was so reputed went to Germany to learn a new operation from a doctor who was 20 years junior to him. So, it doesn't matter. I can learn from all you young people too and I'm quite happy to learn from you. Because anyone and everyone can be a teacher to you and you can always pick up ideas and thoughts from each other as to what is it that really we need to do in terms of it. But if you look at whatever is the whole thing is concerned, you are in a line which is 100% always going to be in demand. Roti kapla makan, ghar to chahiye. But you know what happens? There is another problem that we have. Eh, hiranandani ho. Jo me banaunga wo bike. Hindustan liver, mujh se 100 times jada Amir hai, as a company. Wo ek soap nikal de, uska research karta hai. Ye soap ka cost kitta hai? Ye soap ka demand kya aega? Wo survey karta hai, aur phir find karta hai ke hum kya bada hai? Kis ke liye? Soap ke liye. Lekin, jab hiran nani ko chahiye na, humare bagal mein koon hai? Haan, Oberoi Builder hai. Oberoi Builder, 3, 4, 5, बेडरूम का फ्लैट बनाता है, मेरा भी बिकेगा। पंडिल गया लास्ट वीक, मेरा प्रोजेक्ट सामने वादवाज नवीन मखीजा साहब का प्रोजेक्ट अक्रॉस द रोड है, बस नजदीक है। मारे दोस्त हैं, वादवाज साहब दोस्त हैं और के सानिल लॉ इस आल्सो वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन, सो मेरे साइट पर जाने के पहले उनके साइट पर मैं चल I have a sales person who knows me. I have taken photos with them and told them to tell me more. I asked them, what are you going to do here? Sir, my one bedroom flat is one bedroom flat. What? One is one of us. As much as we have taken the project, it's a part of what? Big gap. Two bedrooms slow and three to not go. Okay? I went to my side. I said, what's going on with sales? We have opened a new project. We are doing 400 flats. We are doing 200 flats. We are selling 220 flats. I said, what's the combination of it? It's not a one bedroom. Where is it? 
अक्रॉस वो वो साले लेफ्ट साइड में है वो हाईवे वो जुना बॉम्बे पुना रोड क्रॉस करो तो मेरा राइट साइड में है उनका भी टाउनशिप प्रोजेक्ट है मेरा भी टाउनशिप प्रोजेक्ट है मैं उनका कॉपी करूं तो मेरा बिकेगा नहीं वो मेरा कॉपी करेगा तो उनका बिकेगा नहीं वो साले सामने सामने प्रोजेक्ट so what happens is that we have a habit of only looking at each other for the purposes of deciding what should i make apne five star hotel banaya aapko lagta hai ki main bhi five star hotel kyun nahi banao unka five star hotel chalega aapka four star hotel chalega aap four star kar do 100% aapka chalega आप फाइव स्टार बनाएंगे तो वो आपका सब कस्टमर लेके जाएंगे या तुम फोर स्टार चार्ज करो और उसको फाइव स्टार चार्ज करें आपको तो उसके लिए बात में मायर है <laughs> इनका होटल देखने लायक है नया होटल बनाया है और अमदीर कोल्ला रोड ब्यूटीफुल होटल में नाम क्या है नोट नोट एल होटल यू मस्ट गोट सी इट वेरी ब्यूटिफुली डन एंड एक्सट्रीमली गुड एंड गुड फूड एंड रेस्टोरेंट में मुझे खाना भी खिलाया है so that's it what i'm trying to say is that in the good old days real estate business was very simple what i thought was good will work today it's not like that you have to be judgmental of the market and also you should find out what is it that you are good at obroy may be good at something rustam ji will be good at something kanakya will be good at something everyone will have his market share if you think of your market share what is the type of work that you can focus on what is the demand where you are going to be there what is the demand which is going to be for your segment at that particular location that you should make a study of that before you finalize it and don't think that what other people are doing across the road or other people who are there in the marketplace is what we do incidentally i also went to godrej and i found out another differences between myself and the market share which we had and they had completely different uh, thought processes were there and we are all doing 100 acres plus as fast pe we are hardly 2 kilometers uh, triangular distance between three of others but totally different markets that we are catering for which is over there so what does it mean it also means that we as developers now have to think like hindustan unilever and not like yesterday's developer because if you create a market segment which is not your segment which you are going to be good at or where the market will believe your segment is the correct segment to do then they will there wo luxury segment wala bolega thoda zyada paise jayenge main mujhe hirandani ka product chahiye तो जो वन बेडरूम का है उसके पास कॉम्पिटेटिव एलिमेंट है आप पंद्रह परसेंट ज्यादा चार्ज कर रहे हैं दूसरे से वो मेरे पास नहीं आएगा पर ये मैं सोचता नहीं मैं हिरण नंदा नहीं हूं इसलिए वन बेडरूम भी बिकेगा टू बेडरूम भी बिकेगा थ्री बेडरूम भी बिकेगा इच इज नॉट ट्रू दिस इज नॉट अ करेक्ट वे टू एक्चुअली डू द मार्केट सो द मार्केट हैव कंप्लीटली चेंज नाउ विच वॉज नॉट सच अ बिग प्रॉब्लम ट्वेंटी ईयर्स गो थर्टी ईयर्स गो वेन वी स्टार्ट द वर्क it was quite different and the market assessment was not required to the extent to which you need to do today so there's a very very big difference in terms of the kind of uh, was had to do and of course uh, you have to think a little bit ahead of the market you have to make the assessment correct you have to have the integrity to make a good product which will actually be delivered that is a take it एक हम गाड़ी खरीदते हैं इसे कभी सोचते हैं कि उसमें खामी होगी नो ऑलवेज हैज टू बी अ वर्कबल कार मे बी एन इकोनॉमिकल कार मे बी अ बिगर कार मे बी अ लग्जरी कार इट डजन मैटर बट ऑल द थ्री कार्स आर गोइंग टू वर्क दैट्स द मेजर थिंग इन आर इंडस्ट्री आई थिंक हमने तो सस्ता माल बेचा है तो हम उन्नीस बीस देंगे तो ये चल जाएगा दैट नाउ विल नॉट वर्क इन द फ्यूचर यू हैव टू सी दैट एवरीबॉडी अदरवाइज योर 
your reputation will come down and you will not get delivery in the future aapko brand banana hai aapko you know you you want to make a reputation of what you want to do irrespective of the segment you are there are certain elements of a product that you want to deliver to the marketplace which you will have to deliver efficiently because it doesn't matter if you're making a small thing ek kaani mein thoda hansi hai because you're going too serious i must tell you something which is a thing i had a customer who had taken a flat in uh, uh, hiranandani estate in a very prestigious building in roda saint clair uh, those who know my thana site that's considered one of my very prestigious segments of the thing so he came he met me in some place uh, so he said i want to tell you something i don't know whether i should tell you so i said Then you bought a road and said, "Oh, very nice building, beautiful clubhouse. Yeah, wo 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 wo. He gave me all, you know, hot kush tha. So I said, 'Like kush tha? It's me. 19th se awaj ko jo wo mithas nahi hai jo hona chahiye. Wo upar se acha acha bol raha tha. Lekin yeh, wo 19th. I said, you know, I must tell you something is wrong." your company tell me so he said you know when i got the key of the flat the engineer took out of from his pocket <coughs> and he gave it to me and the flat which is 10 crores or 15 crores i don't know how much it is the keys was smelling the flat is fantastic <laughs> <laughs> the amenities are terrific everything is fine सर हम मारुति गाड़ी खरीदते हैं ना तो वो डब्बे में डाल के मिठाई के साथ हमको चाय और ये पंद्रह करोड़ का फ्लैट आपके साइट इंजीनियर ने ऐसे करके वो चाबी हमको दे देक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एवरी थिंग है even the key the way you should give and what not and what it is and how he compared me my premium flat in a premium product of the highest value in thane and he compared me with a car key of a maruti car kitna gira diya mujhe can you imagine what is this thing is there so i told everybody sala aap log please mehrbani karo और अभी देखना कि ये डिलीवरी जब ये आप करते हो ना तो ये सब आपको ध्यान रखना चाहिए द मार्केट एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम द डेवलपर्स हैव गॉन अप सो इवन इफ यू आर द मोस्ट ब्रांडेड बिल्डर दैट यू मे बी डूइंग इवन इफ यू आर मेकिंग द गुड प्रोडक्ट दैट यू आर डूइंग इररिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ व्हाट द होल थिंग इज देयर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू कंटीन्यूअसली वांट यू टू डिलीवर मोर एंड that's a reality of life nothing it's a reality to you, you you'll say are kya zarurat hai ye sab karne ki i'm not saying zarurat hai you that you're not going to do a better sale because you gave the keys in this manner but you have to understand that how your customer is actually looking at how you want to do and it's such a small thing and you just you have to really look at some of those apartment it's so beautiful you cannot imagine we really made one of the finest buildings over there in thane top class you know that beautiful but my customer was complaining like mad just because my person and i think that was covid time when we didn't have people whatsoever even then he was not happy about what was my friends it was very simple that life is what you make out of it doesn't matter what life is which is there as long as you have life in you and you have an aspirational value that you want to move up to it doesn't matter where you are how small you are or how big you are you may be the biggest of big developers in the country but you can just vanish tomorrow morning vanish the second largest listed company in india unitel the father the brother the uh, second brother his wife 
all are in jail for the last four years. So it's not about how, uh, you know, how rich you are or what you do or whatever it is to be done. It is how you scale up yourself in terms of how things are really happening in the marketplace and what you really need to do on a continued basis to do it. Will you have difficulties? Did Diranjan have difficulties? I had so many difficulties. If I recount to you and all here, I say, like, hey, guys, they're mark up. <laughs> so it's that kind of problems over there. So it's not that I didn't have difficulties or I don't have difficulties or I don't have problems or things to not do it. You've got to rise above it. <coughs> Somebody was telling me, you know, that I'm uh, going to do everything. So, at 52, I decided to retire from work. I'm now 73. And uh, I had a serious sickness also, and I recovered from it. So I said, Chalo, Abhi, bye hai. My niece was there. My son was going to come. Ye sab hoga, falana hoga. So I said, the business of this is, unko de denge. Or me, not for profit activity karunga. Schools, colleges, hospitals, this, that, and the other, and all that. And I got into it in a very, very, very strong way. This was age around when I was 52. This in mind, ke ye sab chhod denge, wo sab kar denge. In the last 21, I fast forward kar raha hu, ki kahani bhot lambi hai. Lekin mein tuk mein kehna chaata hu. My brother decided to move to London. His daughter also moved, my niece moved to London. Uh, my brother, uh, my son decided to sit in uh, Dubai because he wanted to set up a center. He put up data centers, he set up a joint venture with the Blackstone 5050 for warehousing and this. We do gas, he does gas pipelines also. So he set up the whole thing. And every time I tell him, Baba, you could take over karna hai. Ha, dad, when, you know, little bit, when you get little older, we will take over this uh, thing, I'll definitely take over and he's good at real estate so I'm always happy that when he gives me these false hopes, I feel happy that at least so, <laughs> so whatever it is and all. So now at the present time, I run uh, 14 colleges in Bombay, I run uh, 45,000 in colleges, I have uh, uh, six schools, two are known in Bawai and Thane. 16,000 students in school. I have a skill development center for the poorest of poor. We skill 5,000 free. Poorest of poor government has not given us money. So we still continue to do that every year. Uh, my hospital now does uh, liver transplants, kidney transplant. We're going to do heart transplant. Uh, last week, uh, we did uh, a liver transplant in our hospital for a four-year-old four year baby and uh, the transplant is successful. In the sixth day, she's been walking and all that. So, you know, we did that. We started a school of real estate. Uh, we've started uh, schools of law. Uh, my passion is the medical side and the education side. Uh, last week, we bought a plot in Alibar. We are going to do 20 acres residential complex of putting up a university, world-class university with residential campus over there. So we want to do that part of it and uh, in the next couple of years, that's one of my aspirations to uh, take up all the whole thing. So, and of course, I worked on policy. I drafted the first national housing policy for India during <coughs> Atal Bihar Pajpai's government, scrapped urban land ceiling during his uh, time. Uh, we worked together uh, on that uh, subject and uh, uh, we do that part of it. I, I sign, I'm a co-signatory with uh, Aksal Bukosayam for Bala Sahib scheme on slum rehabilitation and uh, things like that. We now, we, I worked on the ATIB tax-free status that was created and all. The idea is that many times people say that a person's energy is limited, but if his aspirations are high, and he really wants to do it. And of course, his only wife is kind to me, which she is. Uh, all that put together, his capability of being able to do something which you can continuously do and continue to expand. Uh, in my personal life, uh, uh, at age 48, I went to captain school. As old boy, I was made to run 50 meters. 
and at the end of running 50 meters, I was panting. I decided to start uh, exercises. I joined the gym. Uh, let's take a fast forward. Today, last year, up to the COVID time, uh, I do uh, gymming six days a week. Three days cardio, three days gymming. One day I run five kilometers at PDP. I do yoga twice a day. And I'm learning how to sing and play the organ at age 73. What am I trying to say? I said, we all think we have re reached somewhere where we cannot do something more. And we all have self-made glass ceilings. And nothing like that. What you really want to do, not the excuse of not being able to do, you do it. And uh, from 48 to now, I promise you, if I had not started my exercises, I wouldn't be able to even stand here today. Uh, I, I, I was very unhealthy as a person, and uh, I was busy working. To be honest, I had a good excuse for being unhealthy, because I used to work from morning to night, and uh, actually I have no thing. But if you don't do whatever you have to do in terms of what it is, you can't break the glass ceiling. So anybody and everyone, you, 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 you. Believe to me, I'm an ordinary person. I only learned that you can break the glass ceiling. In, you, in anything that you do, including learning the organ, including learning how to sing. You know, my singer came and he said, uh, so I told him, Ek gana bol bohat achhi tere se gata hu. <coughs> Boli, kon se gana? I bola, jana ka namana. I bola, school se, aaj tak, mein hazaaro baan ho gana ka hai, aur bohat achhi tere se gata hu. Lekin, or koi bhi gana, mujhe kahenge, gane ke liye, to room khali ho jata hai. To is liye, mein kabhi gaya nahi, aur gata bhi nahi ho. Bathroom mein bhi nahi gata. To, udar bhi taklif ho jata. Long and short, what I'm trying to say is that, you, it's, it's not an age, it's not an issue, it's not an energy, it's not money. It's not something which is there. Incidentally, all my education, health, uh, skill development, university, incidentally, last uh, two weeks back, I've been appointed by Governor Maharashtra on Bobby University to look after 850 colleges, 8 lakh students, the future of education in Bombay University for the next five years. And I've taken the place of Ratan Tata on my predecessor. It's another big job that I really have to do. What I'm trying to tell everybody is that we all think that we have limitations. And it's all in the head. The day you decide what to do. And I have the best example in India, not Niranjan. I'll give you a better example of a person who has achieved so much. And we all know that person extremely well. His name is Mr. Narendra Modi. He was only a chai wala. Aap aur hum chai wala hote na, to achche chai wala bante. Jada mein jada restaurant banate. Himmat karte to chota sa hotel banate. Aur bhoat khush ho jate. Kyunki hum chai wala the. Humare ghar mein paise nahi the, kuch bhi nahi tha. To hum kuch bhi नहीं बन सके क्योंकि हमारे पास वो हैसियत नहीं है सपोर्ट नहीं है कोई नहीं है नरेंद्र मोदी को सपोर्ट ही इज नाउ इनवाइटेड इन व्हाइट हाउस एंड इन द कांग्रेस टू स्पीक व्हाट सपोर्ट हु इज गिविंग हियर आई वांट टू डू इट व्हाट आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू इज दैट देयर इज नो लिमिटेशंस टू अ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स what you can possibly achieve. The limitation is only in your head. If you decide that I will cross this glass barrier and I will become something which is better or different or whatever it is, you can achieve it. The last point I want to say, and a student from IIT had asked me in one of my lectures, Mr. Hiranandani, will you tell me who is your biggest competition? So I told him with a great ego and a very great honesty. The biggest competition of Niranjit Hiranandani is Niranjit Hiranandani of yesterday. 
whatever I have achieved up till today, or whatever God has given me, Allah Malik jo mujhe diya hai, aaj tak, usko main kaise upyog karke aage chalo, wo hume dekhta hai. I don't look at, if I have already achieved two projects, can I do one more project? If I can do charity for four people, can I do charity for 40 people? If my hospital has done transplants, can I do something else? You know what's my next target in my hospital? My next target in the hospital is to eliminate diabetes in India. And we are launching it mid of July. Wow. So, it's impossible, correct? It's not possible. Yes. How many people think it's not possible? One, two, three, four. What me? Meet me after one year. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea basically, we're launching on 7th of July. This uh, scheme, I've already got uh, 15 people who have joined the thing. We did uh, four runs of beta, which is uh, inpatient uh, thing. And now we're working on that. <coughs> By the end of the year, we'll see the results of the whole thing. Every case from th 3 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 0. We are starting on July, July next month. I worked on it from January. It's impossible. Sablo kuchhe bol rahe. Mere doctors bol rahe. Mere hospital ke doctors bol rahe. Unko convince karne mein mujhe jitna samay laga hai na, utna shayad kis kaam mein, mere building banane mein itna time nahi laga. I have to convince them because bloody hell, they only to do the work. I can't go and get patients over there. I'm not very qualified to be there. I'm a doctor, but I'm not a doctor in medicine. I've done a, a, a master's in management and philosophy. So I don't want to do this thing. That also, incidentally, I, got, I did my doctorate about uh, eight years ago, nine years ago. I did my doctorate. In, so that's why I'm doctor in Nirajitya. my doctor who Maybe he'll tell me I'm false doctor, but stay doctor. <laughs> what I wanted to tell you is that we have sufficient examples of people to do that. But the problem is, I want to become Oberoi. I want to become a Raheja. I want to become a Hiranthan. I want to become XYZ. Never aspire for that. You aspire that how can I be a better me? And if you aspire to become a better me every day, 12 months you see what's the difference with you. Whether it's your health, whether it's your diet, whether it is your loving, whether it is your working, whether it's any field of activity, whether it's your charity. When I started education thinking I'll do a very small thing, one school I wanted to build. We have 45,000 students and 95% of them were online during COVID. 5% were not online because they didn't have the Wi-Fi connectivity. Not because we didn't want to see that the connectivity does not take place. So the idea basically between my friends is very simple. That we all are unfortunately chalta hai or satisfied or are not willing to break the glass ceiling or move out of the comfort zone in order to move to the next level. It's only when you move out of the comfort zone to move to the next level that you will actually be able to get out of that old mold and then really do it. Technology may have changed, methodologies could change, opportunities could change, valuations can change, capital markets can change, uh, ILFS can happen, demonetization can take place, RERA can come, all these things are going to happen. But how does it affect you from improving? Meeting one more challenge. So in reality, when you have met that challenge, you are better. Somebody who goes and says, Arey, yaar, main to me a gaya, abhi to main kya, main khatam ho gaya, barbar ho gaya, ghar mein baith gaya, piche baith gaya, jabhi ho gaya, si to ho gaya, tabhi main wapas jaunga, matter and all that. He is lost out. Because you had that opportunity to do it. You take that opportunity, you want to progress. So, whenever we get stuck in our mental psyche, the progress is not there. And what is this life? 
if you really don't progress. Sadhguru talks about it very, very, very aptly. What does Sadhguru say? He said, Jo Janavar Janam Hota, he gets born a dog, a horse, animal, lion, whatever it is. He's born, he gets up, he hunts for food, wo khana khata, wo bache peda karta, wo so jata, fir kal utke suva mein uta, fir khana khata, fir jo bhi karte, aur fir wo so jata. Why are you a human being? Next janam mein, Malik, tumko kutta bana dega. Kyunki ye janam mein bhi aap hoi kar rahe hai. You are not progressing. Why is he giving you a mind? Why is he giving you a heart? Why is he giving you a conscience? Why is he giving you something more than just an animal? Why is he not made you an animal? Sadhguru talks about it very, very clearly. He says, Marne ke pehle aap mar mar chao. Be alive. Don't just live. Be alive. So, what am I asking all of you? I said, all of you must be alive so that you say, this is something more that I am going to do. That little more, little more, little more, little more, little more, till it becomes a habit. What little more ki ek adat pad gai na, to phir wo little kam chalta nahi hai apne ko. Khana mat banana, don't eat no more. But eat better. So all these changes are us of life. I wanted to share this part of it more important because I thought in the real estate side, one or two of you wanted to hear about the real estate story. But I thought the other part of it, which I believe are lessons which I have learned in life is more uh, important to share, especially with the younger people who have a lot of future in them. And uh, they are the persons who will actually benefit. I used to address Lions Club and uh, Rotary also. So, bolte the. These are about 20 years ago. You speak very well. And if I ask them after four days, kya bola? So, bola tha na. so, but when I address young people, which is from schools, colleges, younger youth people, many of them absorb a lot of it. And many of them meet me after 10 years, 5 years, and all that. And they tell me, you know, you had told me this, and I am what I am because of what you told me on that day. And one of the colleges I had spoken is the NMMIS. I had spoken in their owner management, some courses there in NMMIS. And I was speaking over there, and the person told me, he says, you know, my whole life changed after I heard you over there. So I'm only speaking here today to hope that at least five of you will be able to benefit from what I have grown up with with the ideas and thoughts of what it is. And it's not about the story of Niranjan Hiranandani that is important. What is important is what can you learn from that story is more important for you, I think, which you have to share. I'm open to questions. Thank you very much for listening very, very patiently. <laughs> I said I will keep it open for question answers, so over to you. Thank you so much, sir. That was so inspiring. I'm sure I think everyone over here would want to improve by 1% in everything and break those glass ceilings for sure. Uh, uh, so I would like to uh, start with the first question. Uh, so could you please share some insights into your experience with the Hiranandani Group's expansion into real estate market? into the international markets? It's not about the international market. It's about opportunities. Uh, I went to Dubai. I was there and for a holiday with Darshan. He had just come back from America. I told him, I said that Dubai looks interesting. Why don't you stay here for it? It's my biggest mistake of my life. He was 23 years old that time. And uh, he decided that, yes, Papa, I listen to you. Now he doesn't. But in those days he did. So he stayed over there. And uh, after six months or so, he phoned me and he said that, Papa, 
whenever they say Papa like that, it means they're dangerous. <laughs> so he said, Papa, uh, do you mind if my first building is taller than your tallest building? So at that time, my tallest building was 30 stories or 27 stories, I don't remember exactly. And uh, uh, so I said, uh, Dekhi, koi competitor banai to sochenge. Dekhi, beta banata hai to koi problem nahi hai. So he said, uh, so then before he put down the phone, I asked him, how tall is this building that you want to make? So he said, 90 story residential tower. I said, but at that time, the tallest residen residential tower in the world was 80 story. So I said, how can you make a 90 story building? He said, because then it will be the tallest. <laughs> so it was not me going abroad. It was a just chance that I put him there, thinking that he'd make an eight story building to start with. And he decided to make a 90 story building and keep three floors of the penthouse for himself. So the idea is that opportunities will keep coming. Different opportunities will come. Some people will go public. Uh, Ranik and others will work on a public platform. Others will remain private like me. Uh, we work with uh, uh, various things on the REIT platform. I was going to be the first one to do a REIT. Then uh, Brookfield came and bought the asset from me. So we sold it to them. Instead of going directly for a REIT, we went and sold it to them. So all the time, what, what is not about going abroad or going out of the state or going X or Y. It's about the next opportunity that you do. So when uh, government of Maharashtra told me that, uh, will you make a separate university? I said, yes, of course. They said, what will you do with it? I said, I will see to it that the uh, academic uh, course in the colleges will be updated every year. The University of Bombay does it every five years and six years. I said I will do it here. So in HR College, KC College, and PTTC College 3, which are now directly under me as a separate university, we update the academic uh, the curriculum every year. So this year, again, it is updated. So artificial intelligence, you name the idea, everything is incorporated in the new syllabi to be done. Opportunity, I didn't say no. It was during COVID time. Everybody told me, hey, COVID ke time par kya university leoge? Mula, de rahe na, le lo, dekhenge abhi kya aage piche ho jayega. Karke diya. Now, Bombay University is following what we did in terms of changes. Which is 850 colleges are following what we did in three colleges of the opportunity there. So, it's not about big, small, it's just academy. So, abroad or here. It's a question of opportunity that will come. My brother is settled down in, now in London with his daughter there. They're doing international investments rather than focusing on here. His son has now come here. So he's also now come here to do business. So everybody has an opportunity which is different, which is fine. Whatever he or she wants to do is there, and everyone will get an opportunity. But the secret is to take the opportunity when it comes. Why ka opportunity I have to pick it. Thana ka opportunity I have to pick up. Panvel ka opportunity I have to pick up. Alibaga I have 250 acres. Kandala I have 500 acres. Pune I have 250 acres. In Chennai I have 380 acres. We do platform with Blackstone. We do that. So the idea is, kya opportunity ka I don't know. Somebody tells me that, what, what, what are you going to do five years later? And at 73, why should I look at five years? I'm very happy to look at five days and enjoy my life. Call me for a party, let's have fun. So what I'm trying to say is it's not about the thing. You plan for whatever you want to do. But if your plan is what you have planned to do, it means you have not improved. Three years before, I never thought that we will put up a university campus in Ali Park. <coughs> they gave us permission that the same university can put up in Ali Park because 10 kilometers were as the crow flies, I'm manipulated here. Not as per road, but as per crow flies. I was to say 10 kilometers from South Bombay. So they gave me permission, yes, you can put under the same university. I said, Chalo, lete. Bombay mein, uh, hostel, residential accommodation, koi university ka, I say, koi ka campus nahi. I didn't know that I had to see the campus of Bombay University. 
Now that's another opportunity. So we're now working on that opportunity. So it's not uh, people people hesitate to say the same words I repeat is break the glass ceiling. It's a glass ceiling. It's not a real ceiling. You just have to break it. So much, sir. Nobody from the back seat. That means you people have not heard anything. <laughs> what is going on? So I'm going to be uh, opening up to the audience after this one last question. Uh, so what advice would you give us, the youth of real estate, and what do you envision as the future of real estate? I don't give any advices. I only relate what I think is good experiences. If I have had an experience, I'm sharing it with you. What should I give you an advice? No two persons. My son and daughter don't listen to my advice. So where is the question of that? I sleep quickly in the morning. My children sleep late. I sleep quickly in the morning. They sleep late. They also work very hard. I send them a message at 10 o'clock. I send them an email. Their date is coming to reply. I sleep at 5 o'clock. I sleep at 5 o'clock. I send them an email. I send them an email. I send them an email. So, it's good that their ways are different. There's no one advice to it. If I'm telling you break the bar ceiling, what is the question of advice? If I'm telling you 1% improvement every day, what is the advice? It's not an advice. It's something which you must do. If you must have aspirations in life, don't make a dog, make a human. Keep your heart, keep your heart. Don't move forward, don't move forward. Industry ko aage lao, kuch na kuch karo, kridai mein aap saath mein kaam karte ho, us mein kuch extra kaam karo, charity karo, kuch na kuch karo, chote si charity karo. Hum chote chote pehle charity karte te, aur loog abara care fayda bhi uthaya, unne paise diye. Tabhi humne socha ke hum khud karenge sab charity, directly karenge. Wo abhi hum karne. You may not want to do that, you can do it through so many other people. I trained 5,000 poorest of poor people for skilling. Let's do some charity. Hardly cost. We spend about 40, 50 lakhs of rupees per year for this skilling. Hardly nothing for 5,000 people. We spend 60 lakhs or so. So there is nothing that you cannot do. And it's so easy once you decide that I have to do it. You know, there is nothing that uh, we cannot achieve. Of course, there are failures. Of course, there are not successes. Amitabh Bachchan ka ek story aata hai. Log puche Amitabh Bachchan ko ke, you know, you are such a great actor. You know what he said? He said, I have more failures than any other actor in the industry. But instead of other people doing 100 films, he has done 1,000. So his failure rate is 200, 20% or 30% or 30% by all. Then he has got help. He went bankrupt. He went to Korn Banehe Kroon Pati Karne Ko Kaam Kiya. The biggest actor stepped down and went and did TV shows. Pehli Baar Mua. And what a super hit success to do. We all think, you know, that he is a superman, he is a superhero. Personal one-to-one baat karo na, to malum padega ho usne kya dekha hai. You will not want to be him. The sufferings he has had medically, aap ro padege. Aap unko ye nahi sochenge ki mein Amitabh Bachchan bano. He has gone through so much ill health. I think he's got five operations done of his stomach and other regions for this thing over a period of last ten years over there. Now, you will look up to him, because you are the only one who gives him success. Same thing with Niranjan Hiranandani. He is so big, he is so big, he is so big, he is so big. You don't know what pain. For me, it's very simple. You will do 10 things, no? I will do 200 things. I will fail in 100 things, or 50 things, or 25 things, or 30 things. But I will succeed more than you, not because I am better than you, but because I do more than you. That's all. It's a very simple thing. If I do more, then automatically I am going to be more likely to succeed than I am going to fail. So there is no secret in that part of it. If Abhita Bachchan could fail, Aap Brahm Kona. Thank you so 
motto that was really inspiring. Uh, I would now like to open up the floor for a few questions from the audience and uh, uh, due to time constraints, I think we'll just keep on the back seat for a couple of you, yeah. <laughs> No? Yes. Sir, nowadays, everybody pretends we are very busy, we don't have time. If I ask, Domit Bhai, Shamko, time in the car, I don't have time, I work till 10 o'clock. I can't meet. I want you to explain everyone how do you manage your lifestyle and working style and doing so many things for the stories you told us. Uh, there is a secret. The secret is very simple. I love what I do. Time ke pabandi kabhi aati hai. Koi cheez mein kasht ke hota hai. Kuch kaam karne mein kasht kya rehta hai. कभी पेन होता है जब भी उसमें रुचि नहीं हो ना वो नहीं होता कोई लड़की के पीछे जाना है ना तो आप कितना मेहनत करोगे <laughs> उसमें कोई थकास लगती है क्या लगती है बोलो यंग पीपल जेलस लगती है कि लड़की के पीछे जाना हो विल यू एवर गेट टायर्ड आफ्टर चेसिंग अ गर्ल नो वे इवन द गर्ल विल नॉट गेट टायर्ड ऑफ चेसिंग अ गर्ल so it's only about loving what I do. If it is charity, you think you're giving something. I don't think I'm giving anything. I'm giving the, I'm the biggest gainer in this charity. I love what I do. I love my education. I love my hospital. I love what I want to do as far as this is concerned. I love to share my knowledge with all these young people. I love to see that people will progress. I want the country to progress. I want to work on it to see that there is a difference. It's because I love it. Just then, I understand that this is what I want to do. They came to me and said, I'm going to lecture in Kedai. I heard that someone heard that he was circular. Why do you go to Kedai? Didn't matter for me. I want to just share what I want to do. Do I find it a pain to talk to you? Do you think I'm finding it painful or difficult to talk to you? No. So, what I do, I love. The real estate I love it. When I make my house and complete it, I love it. When I want to create a new project, I love it. I to love it. I go all over the world. I want to see what the new ideas are there. If there is something in education, you tell me. I was uh, putting up the hospital in Pawai. So, I don't know anything about hospitals. What do I do? I made a building. I haven't made a hospital, Dominic. I went, I went to uh, uh, all the Bombay hospitals. Just low Bombay hospital. There is that. I went to Tata Cancer Hospital in Calcutta. I went to uh, uh, I went to Aga Khan Hospital in Nassau. Karachi. Oh. I went to the hospital in Bombay. So, उनके जो trustees थे, मुझे बोल मैं बोला अरे hospital तो ऐसे कोई special नहीं लग रहा है Aga Khan का hospital है क्या? It's okay, साधारण है कुछ उसमें चमत्कार तो दिख नहीं रहा. बोले नहीं आपको कराची देखना है हमारा हॉस्पिटल है वो खर मैं बोला अभी कराची मींस पाकिस्तान वीजा कहाँ मिलेगा कैसे होगा चार दिन में उसने मुझे वीजा दिला दिया मैं कराची चले गया हॉस्पिटल वहाँ देखा नॉर्वे में हॉस्पिटल देखा बैंकॉक में होमन क्रांड आई थिंक इस डी नेम ऑफ हॉस्पिटल आई सॉ सिंगापुर में मैंने हॉस्पिटल देखा I didn't copy anything, but I learned from each of the hospitals what to do make a good hospital. Now I'm going to make this uh, university campus. I've decided to see Ashoka. I've decided to see Jindal. I've decided to see uh, one of the IIMs, uh, whatever it is. I've decided to go to Dubai. My son is a 
trustee of uh, RIT Rochester, which has put up a campus in uh, Dubai. So I'm going to see that uh, campus also. Before I start my Alibag uh, campus, I'm going to see these five places to do. Competition laga do, wo achhe ban karke wo aapke paas bana denge. Mujhe architect hi karenge, architect ko bulaye, main competition bhi karenge. Lekin mujhe ja ke dekhna hai, ki mujhe isme kya lana hai. It has to have my touch at the end of the day. I must feel that because I am making this university which will last for hundred years after me. So it is in my interest to say that. I will go and see at least five or six or seven <coughs> uh, university campuses all over the world, including India, to see what are the best campuses before I start my work. So the idea basically is to learn from this thing. And after Jawab, it's a question of my ruchi. I can't just make another university. I cannot just make another building. Or I cannot just make another hospital. I cannot make another school. I'm not saying that it will be super fantastic, but at least I will get the opportunity to learn about universities, about hospitals, about colleges, about real estate, about this all the time. So the idea is, can we learn that way from the whole thing? So that's what I do. I love what I do. So if you're telling me what is it that I love, that's to learn, to do that and part of it. So you meant to say everything is, loving is behind everything, Absolutely. success of everything. Yeah. If, you, if you don't love what you do, you can't do it. How can you be a champion? Uh, who, who's the, uh, Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, I, I, I heard uh, Swami, uh, Swamiji's speech. Gyan Vatsal speech. He said uh, about Sachin Tendulkar. He said on the day when he won some World Cup or whatever match he won over there, he came and the night he came to Mumbai. Next day morning, 5.30, he was on the cricket pitch back practicing. One night before, he comes from some other city and flies. Gyan yes, yes. I think in the uh, uh, Taj, uh, Taj uh, uh, Lansen. There was a lecture of uh, your uh, Kridai or something was there. Yes, yes. Some lecture was there. Gyan ji spoke on this same thing. Now oh, what is it? He's a champion. He won that match. He's come at night. Why is he in the pitch? You think it's easy to go on the pitch 5.30 in the morning if you come at 12 o'clock at night to get on the pitch? Nothing doing. He loves cricket. If he doesn't love cricket, you can't go to the pitch at 5.30 in the morning. No way. Nobody, nobody on earth can go. Forget uh, Sachin Tendulkar. Nobody can. And this is a statement done by Gyan Vatsal Ji. Spoke in Kridai function in Taj Lanzit. <coughs> when was this? Sir, no. A year ago. Huh? A year ago. Yeah, one year ago. So he, he spoke about Sachin Tendulkar in that uh, <coughs> uh, lecture, which I was present uh, this thing because I was a speaker after that or before that I think something was there. So I, I was there. So I, I heard this part of his speech and I still remember what he spoke. So idea basically is that uh, if you have that in you in terms of the passion and love, you can do as much. This is exactly what the Prime Minister's trick. You can't do it. It's impossible. What he is doing is not possible for ordinary men to do. But it's possible for every one of us to do it if you have that love and passion. You can do it. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. I can do it. Every one of us. And there is nothing that we cannot do. It's an absolute bullshit that you cannot do it. That's all. Yes, Nainesh. With so much of material success, uh, we've met at Shinaji Temple also. How do you balance your material success with spirituality? Uh, I'm a karma yogi. I'm not a bhakti yogi. 
So my wife will spend one hour a day doing bhakti, and I will spend three and a half minutes exactly on bhakti. But I will spend the balance 47 minutes, 47 minutes on karma yogi. So I built three lakh square feet in uh, in Matwara, next to the temple that was built by me, and designed by me, architectured by me. The only building in my life I've ever architectured myself is done for Shinaji in Natwara. And it's a matter of a passion, which is, it's the largest building in the whole of uh, Raj Saman uh, district. I, that time they said even ra largest in whole of uh, Rajasthan, but I don't think that is correct. And in Raj Saman district and Udaipur and all that, it's the largest building that I made for Shinaji. I do believe in God, and I do believe that the Almighty God. But God has created some people to do bhakti. And he has given some people the responsibility of karma. It is my belief and my father's belief that uh, I will do it through karma, through work, through devotion in terms of work. So the day I finish my work, then my visits to Nadwara come down from one every fortnight to one a year. <laughs> The day if I've got work tomorrow in Nadwara, I will go there every week. <laughs> That's me. And they say, Tum aate nahi ho. Darshan karne ke liye aate ho. I bola, Aap kuch kaam do. Kal aate ho. Next flight to Nadwara, I will take. Do I believe in God? Of course, I do believe in God. I do believe in God and Almighty, and I believe <coughs> there's nothing that we can be without God. But do I? Spend time on the rituals of prayer? I don't. My wife does. And uh, but what happens is that uh, we all, uh, we all, uh, uh, our beliefs are believers in it. So I consider my work spiritual. If it is giving to society, then that's the biggest spirituality that you can do. If you can do for the poor, if you can do for the hungry, for the people who have bad health, if I can improve my hospitals, if I can do for my poor, for my skill development. You have to see the skill. <laughs> my skill development is my, one of my favorite things and all. I'll just tell you a short story which was super success. In Ulastaga side, we run 23 locations where we run all these skill development. So one day I said, that a gas welding machine gas welding ka demand. Hai. So we teach all unskilled workers to learn gas welding. I said, let's learn. So he said, gas welding machine is bought. So he took second hand two gas welding machines. In the first round, we took seven gas welders. It was a very poor area. So they would get 4,000 rupees uh, income per month. 4,000 rupees. We skilled them for four months. Starting salary, 35,000 rupees a month. Great. Today, there are 20 people being skilled at one time on those uh, two machines. I think now we are buying two more. And there are girls also who are learning how to do gas welding because they are getting jobs. So, it's not about kya karna hai. Just because I run a university, Bombay University at that level, then very khushi, mera pyaar, University of Bombay, PhDs and all that stuff and all will be there or dealing with Ratan Tata whom I gave a doctorate in my university. That is at this end. But this end is equally mine. I own this more than I own that. Because wo sab ke liye hai. Ye mera hi hai. Ye koi mera se le nahi sakta. Ratan Tata ko koi bhi le ja sakta hai. Ye jo logo ka kaam mein karta hoon na, koi nahi chhin sakta hai. Aap bhi nahi chhin sakta hai. This is totally my possession. Those 5,000 people we skill, the poorest of poor we that we skill. You go close to them, equivalent That is the extent to which you get a goodwill back. So it's not about big and small. But they are you cannot understand that you can feel great with all these little things and people who come and love you and all that. The rest of the people are after you for money, yaar. Loko paise ka pyaar hai. They are not interested in you. They are interested in your money. 90% of relationships may cooperate because of money. <laughs> it's nothing to do with love and affection and all that. They're all 
वो कल के पार्क होगी आई डोंट वांट टू टॉक अबाउट दैट मनी इज ऑल अबाउट सो पॉइंट इज वेरी सिंपल दैट देयर इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी स्पिरिचुअल साइड ऑफ मी बट इट्स मोर कर्म योगी rather than bhakti yogi that's the way i look at spirituality for myself my wife doesn't agree with me i'm very happy she does more of that so i hope i will get some benefit from what she does some benefit i'm sure you does it sorry uh nirinjan my how much i yeah go on go on how much significance you will give when you buy a plot or property for yourself and when you design buildings or give homes to your wife oh uh so ask us i'll tell you a story to that uh when i took up pawai there was a benchmark that i kept for my buildings i lived in palapar hill i decided that the buildings in pawai will be better than the buildings i stay in palapar hill for my customers the hospital that i make will be the better than the hospitals that i go to in south pawai the school that is built will be a better school than champion school which i went to the college that i built should be better than the college of sindham college that i went to if that is your benchmark that's it hamare jo main khud use karta hu usse behtareen jagah main hamare client aur customers ko de sakta hu khatam ho gayi na jo garden hai main hanging garden mein walk karta hu का गार्डन उससे एक हजार गुना अच्छा है नॉट टेन टाइम्स बेटर एक हजार गुना बेटर है एक हजार जिसमें मैं जाता हूं जिसमें मैं दौड़ता हूं पीडीपी में और पवई का जो दौड़ने का ट्रैक है इज थाउजेंड टाइम्स बेटर देन द ट्रैक आई गो ऑन ऑन इन पीडीपी इफ यू आर गिविंग इट्स द एंड ऑफ इट I told you the secret. If you love what you do, there is no problem. You can love a woman, you can love a girl, you can love your work, you can love your physical activity, you can work your mental activity, you can love your spirituality. My work is my hobby. My hobby is my work. My charity is my hobby. My charity is my work. Why should I make this difference? एक मैं थक जाता हूं फिर मैं दूसरा करता हूं चल मैं पहले ही खुश हूं तो सेकेंड करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है सेकेंड क्यों करते हो मैं काम किया इसलिए छुट्टी लेना है अरे सर अब काम में जो मजा है वो छुट्टी में नहीं है एग्जाम्पल नरेंद्र मोदी की ऊंचाई बहुत ऊपर है मैं मेरी बात करता हूँ बट रियलिटी इफ यू लव वॉट यू डू इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वॉट इट इज वॉट इज दॉट लिसन बोथ ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज डोंट मिस अंडरस्टैंड आई लव टू पार्टी बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द पीपल थिंग ये इतना बड़ा है ये पार्टी में आके मजा नहीं करेगा मैं आपके पार्टी में आने को तैयार डोंट कॉल मी फॉर ओनली दिस फॉर्मल स्पीच ऐसे कोई भूल मत करना पार्टी बुलाना है शराब भी पीता हूँ थोड़ा I enjoy everything that I do. I want to make a film on myself. एक नई मस्ती आ गई है। I said I'm going to make a film on myself. I decided that two weeks ago. I've already done four sessions at home. पता नहीं है मैं बनाऊंगा कि नहीं। BV से परमिशन अभी तक ली नहीं है। So, yeah. a lockdown we are most of us in online with sadguru ji at that time he says uh, uh, you are making 50 buildings in 50 acres at that time at that time he says make one building in 50 acres at that time you have taken a, a responsibility i will make first <laughs> yeah so we are, we are going we, i have taken 500 acres at the, on the top of the hill i am making one building over there which will be 50 acres not a problem जो दिमाग में आता है ना कर लेने का 
अल्टीमेटली तो अपने को जाना है वहां जाके रहेंगे नहीं रहेंगे वो अलग मालूम है बट बनाने में कितनी त्रास नहीं है प्रॉब्लम इन मेकिंग थिंग्स यार मेक बिल्डिंग बनवो बिल्डिंग बना देंगे आप बोलो ताजमहल बना बना देंगे उसमें क्या त्रास है बनाना है यार इनका होटल जाके देखो नो होटल का कैसे दिल और प्यार से बना है ये अंधेरी कुल्ला रोड यू डोंट हैव टू गो वेरी फार विच यू वॉन्ट टू डू दिस आई वॉज यू इज वेरी काइंड टू कॉल मी फॉर द इनाग्रेशन ऑल्सो खाना पीना भी अच्छा खिला है Paris Bay is going to host the dinner for all the MCI. Always welcome. No, no. What I'm trying to say is that, see, we we all think that there is something exception. But if you think correctly and if you think in a right way about anything that you want to do, you वो बोझा नहीं समझता. The moment you think that this is a chore, this is a तकी ये प्रॉब्लम है ये कैसे किया जाए यू इन ट्रबल बिकॉज देन वाई पीपल गेट हार्ट अटैक्स एट फोर्टी एंड फिफ्टी एंड थर्टी एंड सिक्सटी एंड ऑल बिकॉज दे सो दिस थिंग अबाउट इट दे डोंट दिस बैलेंस विच इज टॉकिंग अबाउट नैनिश इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इज करेक्ट बिकॉज इट्स द टेंशन इज सो हाई ओनली अबाउट द वर्क दैट वाई बोल गया तुम तीन दिन छुट्टी ले लो चलो कश्मीर चले जाएंगे स्विट्जरलैंड चले जाएंगे उधर चले जाएंगे फलाना चले जाएंगे अलीबाग चले जाएंगे कुछ करेंगे चैलेंज टूडेडेडेड and uh, it's a it's the best thing to do but don't uh, uh, so when you want to do more and more and better and things like that you got to really work on it and if you don't then don't do it if you think that the charity is a chore it's a headache is a this thing and i don't want to do it don't do it please don't do it because that charity is not charity it's a burden on your head i will not do it if i felt that was a difficult thing to do all these things to, i'm telling you believe me administratively to run one school or one hospital is tough running 250 doctors in one hospital is impossible that's the medical work and the headaches that you have is tremendous if you don't love it mat karo nahi karna chahiye Huh? You must enjoy it. You must take it up and create fun. So at the end of the day, I have one satisfaction, which I will last share, is the fact that I feel fulfilled in my life. If God gives me and takes me away tomorrow, I will say thank you, God. Everything that I wanted to do in my life, I have done. He gave me a compliment. Allah Malik, pull up here. Kushi se kabi bhi ja sakta hu. Koi problem nahi hai. I, I'm grateful to him, gratitude to him that he has given me this life, this opportunity to do it, and it's been fun in life. Yes, lots of problems on the shoulders, impossible ones. Times when I thought I would be dead. several times that i've been sick six months ago i lost 100% of my hearing on my right ear sensory loss doctor charles says chances of recovery is only 30% i had to do uh, oral injection cortisone iv shots we did puncture of the ear and did cortisone four times i went to to operation theater four months ago and i've lost uh, uh, i've lost 100% hearing after 15 days and i've got a hyperbaric oxygen machine in my hospital which helped me to recover i've recovered 60% of the hearing in my right ear i don't want to hear less <laughs> <laughs> so i simply went to my audiologist and i said 
जो पूरा सुनना है आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू नॉट हियर थिंग ंग But if you view them correctly, your life will be complete. Don't live an animal life. Live a human being's life, <laughs> and two things which will be great for you. Last question. I think uh, so. We would. Ah. So while you were building this group and scaling up, how did you find the right people and retain the team? Because my average age of my senior employees is only 35 years <laughs> the problem is they don't want to leave me i may want to change them also i i treat them as family so my staff is not my staff i treat them as family and all of them and look after them completely as far as my extended family is concerned and now that my family is actually flown away my daughter and grandchildren are in london and my two grandsons are now going to be in the pen and uh, ucla my other two grandchildren are in dubai in uh, uh, english school there my extended family is my people my extended family is here my extended family is my students my extended family is my hospital my extended family is uh, you so i treat uh, I, i i don't consider this as a thing Most you consider that as part of your extension self, it all automatically fits <coughs> perfect of whatever you want to do. Nothing can be uh, perfect. Nothing will be perfect in your life, and my life is not perfect. But if you look at it from a role of uh, improvement, this, that, and the other. Five years ago, would I make a university? No. Would I have done a school of real estate? No. Five years ago, would I have, uh, uh, you know, done transplants in my hospital? Maybe no. Would I have thought of diabetes? The answer is no. Would my son have taken up uh, data centers, which is there? We are already ten uh, percent of India's data center is with my son. Ten percent. Our target is with a growth of uh, data centers five x. We'll become twenty percent of the market when the market grows five times. That's the target. सब लोग बोलेंगे दिस इज ब्लडी इंपॉसिबल टू डू बट दैट्स आवर एस्पिरेशन कोशिश कर रहे हैं होगा होगा नहीं होगा नहीं होगा कंपटीशन कौन है खुद वी आर नॉट लुकिंग एट अदानी और सो एंड सो और अंबानी और व्हाटएवर इट इज वो अंबानी तो अपनी जगह पर है अदानी भी अंबानी भी अपनी जगह पर है हाउ डज इट मैटर वी आर डूइंग दैट विल बी बी सक्सेसफुल इन एवरीथिंग दैट वी डू नो विल बी बी सक्सेसफुल इन डेटा आई थिंक वी विल we don't know whatever it is so we going to start cloud which uh, till now india nobody has done so i think from october we will introduce a cloud also the first time in the indian market an indian company will get into cloud so that was the last yeah, question so we have just one last segment which is a little bit fun Uh, I would like to call Nimit to take over. I thought over. the fun was over. <laughs> <laughs> After I finished speaking, <laughs> you can have a seat. Yes, sure. Yeah. So good evening, everyone. Uh, at the onset, I would like to thank you, sir, for joining us and sh- sharing your valuable insights. Sure. So, guys, now it's time for the exciting part of today's okay. event, the rapid fire round. So, sir, with your permit, I I I just call you back. Yeah, go. So, sir, with your permission, never say die. Uh, now, along with the MMR, Hiranandani has its presence in Ahmedabad, Chennai. So, which is your next city? I don't know. Uh, we uh, put up a data center in Greater Noida, uh, very, very large one, and we have a uh, first time. Uh, Google has taken uh, a very large portion of our data center, so that's the next direction. 
But as far as real estate is concerned, I will stick to the places which we are there now. Mumbai region, of course, is our forte. So if not in real estate, then what would be your alternate profession? Teaching. Current book that you are reading? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, okay. Your favorite holiday destination? Dubai, where my grandchildren. One superpower you would like to have? The ability to be able to do what I want to do better, faster. All the work that I do better, faster. So if a biopic is being made on your life, uh, which actor would best portray you? <laughs> <laughs> Only Amitabh Bachchan. <laughs> and what title would you recommend? Mm, a title for myself. Mm, man who saw tomorrow. <laughs> Because you have to see tomorrow to make the buildings. Mm -hmm. And you have to say that, okay, when I'm making Pawai, I have to see what it will be tomorrow in order to get the design and thoughts to work together. That's why. So last question, one leader that you admire? Narendra Modi. Wow. So guys, that was indeed amazing. Uh, on behalf of the entire team of MCHI Youth Wing, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Nirajan Hiradani for addressing us and providing valuable insights and experience on the real estate industry. I would now like to call on uh, the state Mr. Dominic Robel, our president, to uh, hand over the token of appreciation to our guest. worried about the number of years. It's the question of what I can do in those years is more important. So if I can do a lot, I don't mind living 100. But if I can't do, then I'd rather go quickly. Because then, uh, so the idea is not about uh, how many years I want to do, you know, and it's, it's only a question of, I'm happy to have many years, but I'm not happy to have my years where I won't be able to do. That's my, uh, in, 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 that's in, my in, wish. In, 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 uh, Any regrets if you, uh, you have not done this thing? I have regretted maybe one million things at all. I regret that I kept my son in Dubai. I, 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 I educated them so much so they could go away. I regret that my grandchildren are not staying with me. Uh, I regret... Uh, I mean, see, regrets I have plenty. But I don't allow any of my regrets to overcome what I'm doing. So if you're asking me that, uh, uh, are you so up upset about your regret that you cannot do what you have to do today? No way. Uh, you give me a party and I have a problem, uh, I will party happily and then come to it. And then go and attend that uh, problem which is there. Because problem is not going to go away without uh, with the party. So I will have my party and uh, I will go there and attend to that problem also. So it's not about, uh, the, the difficulty is we divide our life into things which we have to do, which we don't like to do. And between what we would love to do, but don't have enough of. So I have enough of everything. So in one line, do the job you love, and you don't have to work a single day in your life. Yeah. I think it's the church. So guys, thanks, and I think we should do a lot of applause.